we will begin now <clears throat> with the practice that the very first practice of course everyone does is you know we, we say sargam sa re ga ma pa dha ni sa sargam so I, I am going to to do it, uh, the sargam in C sharp the first exercise however before doing that exercise if your starting note we say sa your practice should begin with that sa alone so spend at least five minutes doing that practice C sharp or C or any other note if that is your natural starting point then you want to be able to be able to sing that note without a harmonium you should be able to be driving in your car or in the bus or wherever you you may be going to work and be able to from your head be able to sing that note correctly so without a harmonium you should be able to it's that sa should become a part of you so that anywhere you are you should be able to reproduce that note and know that to be your sa. Now, <clears throat> if you are going to sing, then there are a few prerequisites such as breathing properly, as well as the opening of the mouth properly in order to pronounce words, because singing is about singing words and we do not uh, want to to sim sing them improperly in Indian music for those people whose native language is not Hindi there are some exercises that are necessary in order to try to get authentic pronunciation for instance I've often heard many people say bhajan. The word is not bhajan, but it's bhajan, bha. So that hard H sound is necessary to sing many of the songs. 
as I was saying, um, in order to sing properly Indian songs or Hindi songs, we need to be able to pronounce words properly. And I have a list here of consonants that need to be pronounced properly. So we have k and k, g, g, j, j, t, t, d, d, p, p, b, b. Those would be some of the more difficult ones for people who are not accustomed to um, Hindi um, songs and are not accustomed to pronouncing those. So that would be something you would need to, to do on your own. Also, the vowel sounds, that's also important to be able to, to sing those properly. So for instance, if I am if I am doing uh, the D scale and I'm doing my practice, one of the one of the things we need to be able to do, I'm starting here on the D note, I cannot show it on the camera, but I want you to take a look look uh, at me while I'm actually going to do this exercise. So we have a I O U M A I O U M A I O U M A I O U M A I O U M A that co corresponds to the D scale. So it's also, if I'm using D as my starting note, it's Sa -re -ga -pa -da -ni -sa -sa So that would be the exercise for today. I want you to begin with spending about five minutes at least on your starting note this song. So, Get your voice tuned to that note and let it become part of you. Then
then pronunciation or singing the vowels the special vowels the So that would be our first vocal lesson. The first, uh, very first thing, be able to find your starting note. And that is unique for you. I have heard many people say, well, uh, C sharp is the male starting note and something else is the female starting note. There is no male and female starting note. The starting note is whatever it is for you. So I hope you practice a lot and get familiar with these exercises. It will take a while. It, you know, you may think that you can do this within an hour or two, but this is constant practice. 